Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim, and this is Magicka Wizard Wars. It's a game being developed by Paradox North, a division of Paradox Interactive based out of Stockholm, Sweden, and is touted as a spellcasting action PvP game that plays sort of like a battle arena. Uh, you can see the highlights here that are scrolling across that display the basic rules, and I'll go over those in just a second, but uh, this game is an alpha build, so as always, alpha is alpha, and anything that you see here is A, subject to change, and B, subject to a lot of bugs. So, uh, bear with me as we go through this, because I am trying to discover this as we go. I played a little bit of Magicka uh, back when the game, when the original game came out, and uh, I enjoyed the crap out of it. It's a heck of a lot of fun. You go through and you combine various uh, elements using the eight buttons at your disposal, usually uh, by default Q through R and then A through F. Uh, casting the spells on opponents with the right mouse button, casting magics on yourself with the middle mouse button, and uh, moving around with the left mouse button. So the things that are different in this game is that now instead of going through and progressing through a story, you are actually fighting against other players. And you are fighting for these various spawn points. As you go through and claim the spawn points, minions will spawn from that area that sort of march to the unclaimed spawn points. The minions are useful in that they provide distraction for your enemies to, uh, they focus on them while they're trying to kill you. And also, serve as a good thing for your opponent because getting kills as it says there in the second highlight actually refills this magic meter with focus and the more it's full the it unlocks more powerful and powerful magics you start out with stuff like haste and uh teleport or revive i think is uh this one here and then you get stuff like summon death and meteor shower and there's uh like lightning storm and rain and confuse and crash to desktop and all kinds of different magic abilities and a whole bunch more that'll be released as we keep going here um so let's take a look at exactly what we're dealing with and then we'll try and jump into a game the servers are a little bare at the moment because with it being alpha build there's only certain people that will get uh, steam early access uh, through the early access program there or you can actually just sign up to be in the beta by going to their website, and we'll put a link on the screen there now. And uh, you can go there, sign up uh, as I did, and wait for your turn to get into the beta access. So uh, this is the gear screen here, and as you can see, you are able to see your little guy here in real time and rotate him and see around as you change the various aspects that you have. There's only a couple that are available at the moment, like I said, with this being an early build. Uh, but they do give you, as for accessing this early alpha, uh, the Vendetta, a Vendetta Dagger and the Excelsior line, which do have some actual effects. So you can see that there's going to be a little bit of building involved here once you actually start getting multiple items and multiple abilities and uh, various weapons and robes and such. Like this axe actually has a cleave that does good damage. Uh, leap forward and strike above to cleave or knock down anyone in your path, but it attacks very slowly. It doesn't does a high amount of damage, one attack per second. The Vendetta Dagger is a throwing knife that has a very high attack per second, low damage, as you would expect. So all of these different things go to building your Magicka, your wizard uh, to take into battle. Uh, the Excelsior line takes you down. Uh, 75 hit points and increases your movement speed by 3% and then of course you have the staff of default uh, pardon default a um, and so I think we're gonna go we're gonna stick with that for now uh, unfortunately the feedback button doesn't seem to be working at the moment uh, I keep trying to give feedback so unfortunately this video is gonna have to serve as my feedback I hope you're watching here's the setting screen as I am want to do let's take a look here it's interesting in that you have a nice full display aspect resolution, vertical sync choices, and the uh, high, medium, and low presets to choose from. But the thing that I love the most about this is that it actually, in the tooltips, gives you a little bit of a description of exactly what each of the various settings mean. A texture quality of low gives it textures drawn at quarter resolution. And things that are actually understandable, dyna dynamic lighting and SSAO disabled. Dynamic lining disabled, but SSAO, uh, excuse me, scratch that, reverse it. Uh, and then you have both of them there. Shadow quality, here's what that means. 
particle effects. Here's what that means. It's really nice as someone who has a moderate amount of experience with trying to figure out what some of these various settings mean, that I can now go and look and see, oh, hey, uh, maybe I don't necessarily need bloom. Is it lowering my frame rate? Oh, bloom turns out to be that that fringe or feathering of light that comes out when, say, a character is walking through uh, inside from outdoors and they just want to show like a, a white sun that sort of flushes out the area behind the character. That is bloom. I can live without that. If it's going to increase my frame rate, now I know I can uh, disable that option. I really like that. Thank you. Uh, and then audio effects, key bind fully customizable key binding. Um, and then if, for some odd reason, the ability to quit the game is contained inside of the settings menu, which I've seen that sometimes before in like MMOs and stuff like that where you want to be absolutely sure that you're quitting quitting. If it's just a little weird right here on the home screen, you know, at, at least on the home screen, there should be a quit button easily accessible here. Oh, well, at any rate, uh, you can see the region that I'm in right now. I'm in U.S. West because I'm just trying to see which one is m the most active at the moment. You can only change that on the login screen. You have to log out and then change it and then log back in. Uh, I have no friends at the moment that are actually own this game. Um, these right here uh, apparently do nothing right now, but there will be a store later on that you'll be able to spend these crowns and earn items that are available at a certain level that increase or decrease your abilities at a certain uh, uh, incremental scale. And I'd imagine that the various levels also go into matchmaking and stuff like that. And eh, we shall see. We shall see how all this plays out. So I'm going to try and find a match here. And through the magic of video, when we come back, I'll be in a match 20 minutes later. Incidentally, one thing that is kind of nice is while you're searching for a game, and you will be searching for a game for a while. Uh, it doesn't override your ability to change your gear, even start a party and, and invite them in to join you in searching for a game. So, you know, eh, little touches are kind of nice like that. But it is kind of a pain in the butt that I can't go and change region without quitting all the way out of the game. Two hours later. Spin while we wait. Spin while we wait. What do we do? We spin while we wait. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we finally found a game here. Uh, so this is your basic screen here. It shows the team composition. We are on the green side. The enemies are on the red side, as they should be. Timer here shows the time until the match starts. Thankfully, I was able to uh, catch it just before we started. <laughs> that was a long wait. Long wait, folks. So uh, anyway... Basic combat is your magic affair. You click around with the left mouse button to move. Use your right mouse button to, uh, after you compose your spells, cast them. The mini-map down here in the corner shows the various points that you have to take over. Uh, real quick. Death, death, death. And Red Ray of Destruction. I love this spell. It's one of my favorite because it's just constant destruction. Oh, I love it. Oh. So your allies can also go around and heal and or hurt you, uh, as you saw there with the, oh, what are you doing? Nice, that's stone armor, and that was with stone and armor, stone armor. At any rate, uh, yeah, so your allies can heal and or hurt you. Uh, these, come here, bada boom she. Yeah, uh, environmental hazards do stand, so if you happen to, oh crap, really, really, really boyo? No you're not. Stone prison. Oh man, I'm trapped in here with him. Damn. I was really hoping that that was gonna work. Uh, so let's see. I'm trying to keep up with the rapidity of action and keep this some semblance of coherent as we try and uh, figure out what the heck is going on here. More death. Damn it. Um, I'm gonna try. Let's see. Get a wall here. And oh crap, I need. Something more offensive. Fire, fire, fire. Nope, that's a wall of fire. And it doesn't help me at all. Damn it. Um, how about... Let's see. How about fire, death, and rock? Ah, oh, damn. That did not work as well as planned. That did not work as well as planned. Son of a bitch. Stone armor. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh. <laughs> he tried to use a lightning ability when he was all wet. And it backfired. Oh, that's fantastic. So yeah, like I was saying, typical magical rules apply. So if you do stuff like that, you're gonna end up screwing yourself over. 
And so you really have to pay attention to what's going on around you, what you're getting afflicted with, and aha, you cast stone armor by casting it on yourself. Shock, surprise. Speaking of shock and surprise, unlimited power. Oh, that didn't work out. Damn it, no, 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 no. Whew. I had to get out of that thunderstorm. Um, thunderstorm, incidentally, the thing I love about that spell the most is it targets the tallest player the most. So, if you happen to be the tallest person inside of the field, you're the one that's going to get zapped over and over and over. And oh crap, they're coming for our little central point here. Um, let's see. Oh, damn it. I walked right into a thunderstorm. Ah, that was dumb of me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for healing me. And now we can lead a double char double pronged assault. Oh, shit. I'm taking this guy out. Uh, it, it froze me. He froze me. He froze me and it hurt. What about fire? I'm gonna cast fire. Oh, come on. Why can't I cast fire? Oh, wait. I can't cast fire because I am... Damn it. Summon... Oh. Okay, so that was the summon death spell. Death was summoned and he murdered me. Um, this is a good opportunity for me to explain a little bit more. On the mini-map here, not only do you see the spawn points and where we are and where the enemies are when they happen to correspond to the... Uh, 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 area that we can see but it also has the number of tokens that we can uh, use to summon and or revive I think yeah see those spawn tokens that just popped up there I think that not only covers um, your characters but also the enemies or like your minions as well oh yes burn baby burn that's what I like to see that was uh, the dragon strike, dragon strike spell. Teleport! Yeah! So we teleported away there, and that helped a little bit, but did not help enough. Oh, damn, 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 I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get out of this one. Oh. And then as you do son of a bitch. As you die and have to be respawned, or as your minions die and have to be respawned, it also takes up the tokens, and the team that runs out of tokens first is the one that's not going to be able to respond at a critical point and is going to end up losing uh the the way that you are losing this game is to not be able to respawn and so you can do that either by losing all of your tokens or uh actually if the enemies take over all of the various spawn points ah uh, firewall yes that actually worked rather nicely um if the enemies take out all the spawn points, damn it, then you cannot respawn because you don't have an area to respawn. So that's the second way the game can end. You can also see the flow of battle here. Basically, you can see that they are winning pretty handily here, but that's okay. I mean, as part of a... Oh. Damn, I was really hoping I could participate in that. As part of a an alpha build, you know, eh... I'm not very good yet. Oh, damn it. And as such, most people aren't. You know, uh, most people that are going to be playing this game have probably played a little bit of Magicka before and kind of know what they're doing a little bit. I really shouldn't cast that spell. Damn it. Double damn it. Oh. And as such, you're going to be just mostly wailing around until you start to get people that play as teams and people that play together and are able to start talking and strategizing and playing like an actual team should and that's when you'll really start to see something fun come out of this game that's uh, a little bit more than just ran seemingly random chaos you know and lightning oh wait um, I would really Oh crap, we are out of tokens. This is not good. Ooh, but I've got my thunderstorm. Okay, um, let's make a mad dash for one of their spawn points and see if we can't do something about them. Let's see if we can't stealthily capture one of them while we have no ruddy tokens with uh, to respawn. Oh god, this is going to be in very badly, but I don't care. Okay, so now that we've got that, fantastic. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe that doesn't come from minions. Maybe we were just dying that often. It's very likely. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, thunderstorm. 
Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I'm gonna take you all down with me. Woo! We were defeated. <laughs> oh, I love a game that's still fun even when you lose. And we did lose. 21 to nil. As far as the uh, tokens that were left go, it actually gives you a little readout here of the number of imps you slain and heal bonus, which I sucked at because I was trying to talk and play at the same time, which is never good. Um, I got two capture points. I did 10, uh, 10 damage bonus worth, I guess. It's kind of, it doesn't tell you how like some of these are calculated, like the heal bonus and the damage bonus, but some of them are pretty obvious, like them slain, assist, kills, and captures. Uh, so, yeah, you know, that's a fairly good readout of what happened. And then you total your score, you get that much EXP, which is a fair decent amount. I mean, that's actually after I played a game previously to this one. I finally got into one, and I wasn't ready with my recording equipment. So, uh, yeah, and then you also earn crowns based on how well you did. I think in the last round, I earned like 430-something. Um, so, you seem to be able to garner these, point, uh, these crowns fairly easily. The levels seem to come at a fairly consistent rate. And once they actually Im implicate some sort of reward system that, that those are based off of, I don't know, it could be kind of a lot of fun. But uh, I think this is a pretty good little look at the alpha build here. Uh, I, I think I'm going to keep track of this as it kind of keeps getting better and keeps growing and growing. So, I don't know, maybe expect a, a, a catching up on video sometime in the, in the near future when uh, another patch on comes out that's worthwhile to talk about. In the meantime, go and sign up for it. We're going to put that link up again right there. And uh, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tim Leftwich. You've been watching this on YouTube.com slash Tim Leftwich. And as always, we'll see you next time.